Well, here we are at the Tomogamy access road put in. Um, it's late in the day, it's probably about four o'clock. We wanted to get here a lot earlier, but the way things transpired, we're here now. It's pretty nice, but there are some spotting uh, thunder showers here and there that are pretty heavy. So hopefully we don't get caught in any of those. Um, we brought Bella, I'm with Heather. Hi guys. Yay, Heather's my wife. And uh, Bella, our dog. Who is uh, being a bit of a nightmare. She's not a very good canoe dog or fishing. Yeah, she's terrible in the canoe, jumps on the gunnels, um, and basically gets so overwhelmingly excited when you're fishing that she like risks dumping the canoe, tries to bite the hook, it's a disaster. Um, and because we canoe a lot, this is quite upsetting to us, but she's good in other ways. Um, so, you know, hopefully she gets a little better right now. She's full of beans and uh, hopefully she doesn't dump us out there. But she's missed out on a few trips. I'm not going to lie because of this. She does run rapids though. Anyway, uh, we got a ways to paddle and we don't know where we're going to camp. So we better get the show on the road. Right in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Bella. Nope. Uh, okay, you get in. Okay, Bella, in the boat. On the floor. Canoeing with a dog is easier said than done. My past dogs have been much better. This one is really, really wound up when we do this. She's already broke my brand new rod. Um, the tip of it, I just put it together. I've never used it, stomped on it, broke it before I took a cast. So, you know, hopefully that's not uh, foreshadowing for things to come. But we're ready to go, so I'm pumped about that. Okay. Bella, you gotta get down. Bella, come here. Down. Wow. wow. Bella, come here. Come here. Stay. Good girl, stay there. Well, we're off. It's probably about 4.30 now. Um, the dog is down on the floor of the boat and uh, she's being somewhat reasonable, thankfully. Uh, a little bit of a stressful uh, launch, but that's kind of often how it is. You know, all just your gear and everything and where is everything. And uh, so now we're going, but uh, yeah, some ominous clouds rolling in. Hopefully we can find a spot before it gets too, uh, too crappy out. So the dog is being pretty good right now. Better than she's ever been. She's gotten a little bit older. So she's a little more, you know, relaxed, but she's still quite excitable. If she sees a goose or a duck or you were to catch a fish or anything, she's jumping all over the boat risking to dump you. Now on Lake Tomogamy, um, it's a big lake and so you got to be concerned about the wind uh, and the waves blowing up when you're a boat, especially when you have a skittish dog. Having the dog makes me a little nervous, but she's been actually quite good. So no island then? I don't know. Okay. Oh, here's the site here. Looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about that. No, look. You want to check this one out? Where do you want to I'm going to pull up sideways. And we'll let beans jump out. Stay. 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 Okay. 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 Good girl. A little more uh, capable than Buck. Oh, Heather's making a move. She doesn't want to get her boots wet. Well, she she wore her good yeah. boots. <laughs> She's done it. She's done it. Yeah, check it out. Tell me what you think. What's she doing? Huge diarrhea right here. And there. 
<laughs> Move on to the next one. So Bella's diarrhea all over the site. We'll just fling it, fling it out of the way with the paddle. Um, so we've gone absolutely nowhere, but you know, this trip is really not about, uh, you know, beasting it too much. It's uh, more about just hopping sites and enjoying the long weekend. And we've come across a site on a point here that should keep us away from bugs. Uh, we switched her food, you know? <laughs> Should keep us out of the bugs a bit. There's been no bugs so far. It's a, it's a pretty spot. Uh, so we could stay here and you know, I don't see us having issues making the time tomorrow. So no, no. What do you think? Do you want to stay or go? We can paddle about like five more kilometers to the end of the bay. And then tomorrow, first thing we'd start with a portage. Okay, she says we're here. The easiest trip to our first camp spot, I'd say, in all time. Uh, that's the beauty of tomogamy, let me tell you. You just come in first spot, basically, by the uh, put-in and you get a site. Uh, and yet, I bet you, you couldn't get a single site in Algonquin. So, and then of course, tomogamy has got even way more remote areas where there aren't even cottages and lots of other awesome places to explore. This trip, we're going to go back in Shining Wood Bay, hop a couple lakes, maybe go into Wasixina, maybe stay on those lakes and then come out the same way we came. Uh, should be pretty cool. But um, either way, oh no. Oh, that was close. Almost lost the rod. But either way, it's gonna be fun. Areas we haven't explored. I've been in there in the winter, but not in the summer. I found a way better takeout. Yeah, come down here. Down here. No, you stay. Your sights all the way down here. Boom, boom, boom. All here. See? Okay, yeah. On the way back, or even tomorrow, deal with some significant headwinds that could make this quite challenging, especially with the dog. We're going to come down, portage in, Wasixina, come back. Let's just stay here. Alrighty. Sound good? Sound good. The site is pretty good. And looks pretty chill to me. Nicely open to the wind, keep the bugs out. I'm digging it. Hey, this is like Gatorade. What a bit. Heather um, today in uh, North Bay came out of the gas station and said, oh, I got this Gatorade for us. And then I tried to have some and she snatched it away and speed walked. Um, so I feel like now that we're away from things, her attitude towards the Gatorade has changed. <laughs> I guess you get up. Mm. I'm nice like mm. that. As she chugs the Gatorade. <laughs> what do you mean?
example of how our dog behaves. Having a calm and peaceful canoe trip, family camping trip with our Tasmanian devil of a dog. We don't have any kids, so. Just a Tasmanian devil and two cats. <laughs> so it could, it could be harder. What a tune. That's exciting, eh? Heather's just getting her little nest set up in there. Horse flies and deer flies are out. Few dead already, punk bastards. But uh, I'll take a few of those over swarms of black flies and mosquitoes. There's been a few of everything, but nothing too bad so far. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Part of the reason we picked uh, kind of a windswept point in hopes that we'll keep the bugs down a bit, but. Uh, we're going into some smaller lakes tomorrow, so we'll see. Uh, I'd imagine the portages will be crappy, but beautiful spots. A little more remote. Easier to uh, paddle a canoe around and fish uh, than on a big lake, so we'll see how we do with that. Uh, are you going to help? Oh, are you helping? Are you helping? Are you going to set up the tarp? Get the paracord? Bring that. Good girl. 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 I think uh, she's picked up the paracord. Uh, one of her things she does is she tries to trade. And so she's hungry. I think she's trying to trade this for food. Can I have it? Can I have it, please? Thank you. Oh, that's so nice of you. That's so nice. No, that's not her dog. That's not her dog. So Bella has graciously traded me this paracord and hopes to get some food. So, I will feed her her dinner. Crunch, crunch, crunch. My camp so early and uh so beautiful out I just don't know what to do with myself it's actually not that early um, but often doing long hard days and rolling into camp late so uh, I'm going to go get some firewood get a fire going because we got steaks tonight oh yeah
We're making poutine. So we got some potatoes. Dice them up. We're gonna fry them up. Put some gravy. Poutine gravy. Some cheddar cheese. Some ketchup. And the best part, bacon wrapped steak. Gotta have poutine, it's Canada Day weekend. Mmm, so good. Um, that was really yummy poutine. I didn't realize how hungry I was till we started eating it. And then I'm like, why did we only make three potatoes? Like we saved some of the other potatoes for another meal, but we didn't have to and just realized three potatoes isn't enough. Bella means to the dishes. God. So five, so this is her sixth time. So a minute ago, minute ago, we heard a big crash in the woods and I was hopefully wondering if it was a moose because there's moose droppings all over the campsite. But knowing Bella, she probably would have scared it off. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not a mother with a calf and it comes charging out here and pounds us all into the dirt. <laughs> Unlikely, but you never know. Bella would probably get the wrath, I would imagine. Bella's actually quite interested in what's going on, and we're, uh, it's downwind, or we're downwind, and there's a pretty strong breeze, so it probably wouldn't smell us. But she seems to smell something, and hopefully it, uh, you know, isn't a hungry bear. We heard a crash back in the woods. Bella keeps sniffing the air and trying to run back here. So we're gonna see if there's something we can see. Yeah, a lot of moose poo. 
draw things. It's pretty old though. Yeah, I don't really want to rip back into that mosquito infested swamp. Nah, neither. Those seem to be really like strong. Well, it's been a great day and uh, got to this beautiful spot. Uh, the Tomogamy area is amazing. If you don't uh, come here, you should. It's uh, very beautiful and we're just very close to the busy section and it's already such a good spot without even going anywhere. We're going a little further back in, hopefully, uh, you know, get the lake all to ourselves and see some new stuff and explore some new places. That's what it's all about. It's going to be a fun time. And, uh, you know, this is a beautiful area, wilderness area, and so you can get to pretty special spots. But uh, good, good first night, and uh, we're going to hit the sack now. Good night. What do you think, Heather? A good day? It was a great day. So nice here. Um, can we pause for a second? No. <laughs> good night, Heather. Good night. And you can just hear me. Now she's being the director. Good night. Good night, Bella. Good. <laughs> good night, Bella. Good night. Bella. Bella, are we allowing you in the tent? Hey, Daddy. Good girl. Good girl. Good night kisses. Bella thinks that she's supposed to be tucked into a sleeping bag. So she's trying to lie on my pillow, my sleeping bag, everywhere. And, um... She hasn't really accepted yet that she's going to be sleeping in the cold, wet corner. No. Well, it's the morning and uh, we've got a beautiful day. Um, both Heather and I had a bit of a headache this morning, but Heather had a pretty bad headache and Bella was all antsy and wanting to go to the tent. So I came up here where it was actually quite chilly and breezy. There's still some coals left from the fire for last night and 
It's this old rotted stump over there that I just threw on here and basically just put my bug jacket on because the bugs were pretty bad this morning and just slept by the fire with my bug jacket on. Um, and I threw these on because it was kind of cold. And so uh, they kind of kept me warm. they just been burning slow, but now um, I just put the water on and we're gonna have a coffee. I can hear Heather stirring in there making yawny sounds. So I think she's up and she picked a good time because honestly, it looked like it was gonna rain earlier. The bugs were out and now it's cleared up. It's not baking hot, but it's perfect and there's no bugs. So pretty good. And I'm um, just getting the coffee on and uh, it looks like we have a gorgeous day here. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we'll get breakfast going too. Is that your dog food? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bella thinks that it's a good idea for her to have more of her, her food this morning. Bella? <laughs> Is it your breakfast time? What are you doing? Bella? Is it your breakfast? Oh. Let me see. Bella has decided that it's time for her to have her breakfast. And she was carrying it around. You girl. And she emerges from the tent like a child from the womb. Good morning. Good morning. Pokes her head out into the world. It's an exciting time for a freshly born wilderness girl. Perfect morning from Tamagami. So nice, eh? No bugs. And she's off. There's an ant. Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> Are you hunting squirrels? Great way to uh, bring bacon into the bush where you don't have to keep it cold or need a cooler is pick up a pack, uh, a couple packs of those ready crisp bacons and uh, they're pre-cooked cooked, and you just heat them up and they last forever so you can bring them and there's about 10 or 12, I think this one had 12 pieces in it. So it's rationed pretty good for a couple people or three people. Uh, four pieces each or six pieces if you're two and uh, Yeah, it's awesome. It lets you bring bacon in the woods. It's not it's not as good as you know actual You know thick bacon, but it's pretty thick and it's pretty good Do you approve? Mm-hmm It's really good and um I know at Costco they sell huge packs of it. The problem is once you open it, it is resealable with a Ziploc, but once you open it, it's the pack is too big, really. Unless you have a huge group or something. Bella. It was like the bugs weren't bad at all for me and Jim. We did bring in a couple of cans 
that you're not really supposed to bring into provincial parks or parks, but we're not in a park, so it's fine for us to bring it. And we never leave them anyway. Um, what I do is I uh, burn all the stuff off in the fire and then I crush them flat and pack them out. Someone else had left tons of cans here. Uh, this one's full of three cans, um, our small can. So I'm gonna pack these ones out too. Cause that's just the worst. If you just get all this garbage piling up, it just, you know, it just sets a bad precedent. So um, I'm gonna pack these ones out too. Stay, get down. Good girl. Okay. Cutting my line. Okay. Hey, no, whoa. Get down. Good girl. Get down. Whoa. So that's what happens when we fish with our dog. It's just uh, out of control and it makes it really dangerous. Um, that was even a bad situation. So, gotta be kidding me. Anyway, in the meantime, look at this awesome smallmouth that I caught. Look at that fish. Nice molly. Beauty, small muff. Nice molly. Mm. Come here, Bella. Come here. We're going to let it go because we don't want to portage it and it'll give us incentive to catch some more.
left. It's that way? That way. Sweet, eh? Oh. Alright, well, let's go back. Happy I'm in my bug jacket. Yeah. Buggy one. I uh, am not wearing my bug jacket. I'm getting absolutely killed. Why aren't you wearing it? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm stupid. Just finished the uh, portage and man was it ever a buggy one. A little breeze picking up now and, and so that's, that's nice. But we do want to catch a couple fish even with our crazy dog. You know, at least one nice one for dinner to go with our pasta. Um, but uh, yeah, portage done. Wasn't so bad, right babesy? It's over so I'm happy now. <laughs> I told her, I'm like, put on your bug jacket for this one. It's gonna be buggy. It wasn't and, a long uh, one, just a buggy one. She was, uh, I think, happier because of it. I think she would have kicked me straight in the nuts otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a problem with overpacking, as you can see. Well, we brought camp. We're not doing a hard trip. We're doing brought camp chairs. and It's two trips. I think we brought the same gear for our two-week trip down the mountain river in Northwest Territory. <laughs> Just to put things into the Almost. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, we have a lot of gear, but it's two trips. It's not so bad. So, right. yeah. What abs. What abs. On to the next lake. All right, let's roll. Let's do it. Don't make a bad effect. Oh. Yeah. Those portages are just so buggy. Brutal, Heather did it. I swear she might slip on those rocks. <laughs> Good job, babe. Gorgeous, eh? Yeah. These creeks are so nice. Like, I'm so surprised kind of at how much flow they have.
Looks good. So uh, we're rolling into camp, it's 7, about 10 to 7 actually, so not too bad, it stays light so late. Gorgeous, there's going to be a gorgeous sunset here, beautiful spot, a um, bunch of people on this lake, but obviously there's sights and probably some more. I wouldn't mind peeking at a couple others, but because it is late, we're just going to take this one because it's gorgeous. And um, hopefully I can get out and catch a fish for dinner. Because I um, foolishly just thought when we get into this lake we would catch one, but we haven't. And I didn't want to portage the other ones. And of course, we've Heather's caught two. I caught two. Which one probably three pounds. Uh, one, two and a half, or even more. And then two probably about a pound and a half, uh, or a pound anyway. And. Uh, we just thought we'd catch something coming in here, and now that it's seven, we want to get set up and we don't have fish. So we're supposed to have some fish with our dinner tonight. So hopefully we can get something done and I'll head out and grab, grab a fish for dinner. A nice one just lost it. Bella, get down. Bella, get down. Get down. Good girl. No, no. Get down, Bella. Get down, get down, get down. Bella, get down. Bella, get down. Get down, get down. No, no, no. It's okay, Bella. Get down. No, Bella. Bella, get down. Ooh. Action packed.
call it like a four pounder. Uh, I have no net and uh, this dog, if you can't tell, it's a nightmare. No. Back. Go back. No. Bella, go back. No. Well, that is a nice one. Can you stop? Stop it. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Stay. 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 <laughs> Unbelievable fishing here. You want to eat the fish? No, we're letting it go. firewood. There's no wood on our island. So I had to go cut some and I cut dinner at the same time. So I just went out to get some uh, firewood and I grabbed this little smallie. Uh, we're camped on a very small island and there's absolutely no wood. So I uh, caught dinner and you know, that's why I didn't keep the other ones before. Heather threw hers back, I threw it back because I was hoping we'd catch some here. Sure enough, we did. I lost a four pounder, uh, boated a three pounder and uh, it was pretty, pretty wild with Bella in the boat the way she behaves, but here we go. Nice, uh, nice smallmouth dinner. We'll uh, put some fish crisp on that and fry it up.
All right. There we go. Fresh caught. Smallmouth doesn't get any fresher, just literally caught an hour ago. Um, action packed, beautiful, beautiful spot and uh, action packed fishing. And uh, you know, Heather whipped up some delicious pasta and it's always good to have a little protein to go with that. And this smallmouth is just perfect perfect amount for an addition you know we didn't need more could have kept more a lot more but we didn't need any more so pretty pleased with this a little fish crisp roasted garlic and a little tartar sauce living large fresh out of the pan fresh out of the lake oh do a lot. Mmm. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Wasik Sina. And for the grand finale. Wasik Sina. Ooh. Heather approves. I like okay. fish more than Heather. And she's approving this fish, so. I'm Heather, and I approve this fish. <laughs> nice. Fresh cat bass. So easy to get to, too. So easy. You know, like two, like three ports. Is the last portage even count? I guess it does, but like three super shorties, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't like the going back the same way thing, but like I'll show you the map. We can, you can do, you can keep going from here and you can paddle down that end of the lake and like paddle so far almost back to Lake Tomogamy and then do a few sets of portages like we just did and then you're back in. Mm -hmm. and then you paddle down the arm and back to the thing. You know? Piece of cake. Stella, do you want to go to bed? Do you want to go to bed? Bedtime. Bedtime? Bedtime? Good. Okay, let's go. Go to bed. Good girl. Are you ready to go to bed? Are you ready to go to bed? So, um, I'm just enjoying the uh, the spot at this moment right now. Okay. It's so nice. Really nice. There's a nice breeze coming in. Mm -hmm. Good. How are you today? How are you today? Yeah. No. No. Coffee cheers. Happy Canada Day, everyone. Mmm. Happy Canada Day. Mm. Perfect day to be spending Canada Day. Beautiful. Those moths were crazy last night. Aren't they called mode? No. <laughs> moths. Modes.
Oh, I love this lake. I know, it's so nice, isn't it? Camped right there. It's actually on we're on a small island that doesn't show it on this map, but okay. so we've come in this way and we could it's about twenty three kilometers with about one and a half kilometers of portaging to go all the way back full circle to do this loop. Right. And it's pretty sweet because we could paddle into Driftwood Lake. Um, there's campsites there, you know, we could paddle into Iceland Lake, there's campsites there, we could actually camp there, but really we could paddle into the northeast arm of Tomogamy, do the portage and camp here, close to, close to where we're finishing, um, or we could go back the way we came. It's kind of nice going this way, because it's more of an adventure, and it's like completing the loop, but I'm a little torn, because if we go back through here, we could do some fishing and shining wood and we were getting all those bites and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of want to catch a nice fish. Yeah, and we didn't even have time to fish at all in Denise or mm -hmm. Olier. Yeah, we kind of just rushed through there, right, to do the portages. Even Wasixina, like I went out for two minutes and we were catching so we could spend some time here. And there was that beautiful island campsite mm -hmm. that was taken. Maybe we could get that on the way back considering a lot of people are probably going home today, and maybe you're not. Yeah, it just it's not as exciting when you've done, you've gone that way. It's kind of like... I know, you know you're seeing the same thing, mm -hmm. kind of. It's right. actually not really that much shorter. It's a little bit more portaging to finish the loop, okay. like one extra 400 meter and a bit less, and then another like 7K of paddling, which honestly would be a piece of cake for us we could do that all today 23k right. but yeah i hear you i it would be cool to check out these legs we have I'm a little bit lie. more time to you know take it all in fish relax not be so rushed on our last day yeah because so, we're not going to be able to fish much we're going to have to just blast through right that way. that's what i was thinking and it was really pretty in here i don't know no, I think Either you're right, because, like, also the northeast arm sees, like, way more boat traffic and cottages. And right. Whereas, like, the... And there's not many people in here, right, in Dunedas. And yeah, and even in the base of Shining Woods, like, more remote and quiet, so... Mm. All right, let's go. That's that's what you think? Let's I think go. so. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's fine with me.
cast behind that branch there, in there. Just like right in there. You got one. Yeah, you do. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. Oh, wow. Oh, flip it in the boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. First species. It's a nice, that's beauty. Cool. All right, wait. Let it go, hold on. What are you doing? Really gorgeous spot. And I came over here just because it's pretty. And uh, I'm getting that smell of uh, what you get from a waterfall or that churning water. And uh, it's one of my favorite smells. I love it. Oh, it's big! Yeah! It's like two pounds. Not bad. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. Yeah! Nice one. Yeah. Sweet. It's big. So I caught a nice small mouth, maybe about a couple pounds, uh, right as we're about to get out and start portaging. Um, it was pretty good, put up a good fight. The Heather's doing not so bad. Yeah, she's killing it. Fresh moose traps. Another smallie. Last portage of the trip. Last one. You're hungry? Thank goodness. I'm starving. I can't wait to get to camp and cook up some home fries, some camp pizzas, maybe some fish if we catch them along the way. And we have pasta as well. So that'll be yummy. Some camp cones. Some All I can cones. see is just like a black shadow, like you're some sort of night creature. <laughs> it's a pretty buggy portage, so I'm not coming out of my jacket until it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really buggy portage. Um, last portage of the trip. 
Heather's been slaying the bass today, yeah. but we didn't keep any because uh, we're confident we'll be able to catch another one for dinner. We also have a bunch of food for dinner um, if we don't, but mm -hmm. just portaging the fish seems unnecessary, but uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the time I find that was stupid because then you're like, what did I do? <laughs> you get in there and you can't catch a fish and you're like, why didn't we keep that? So we'll see. Hopefully we got one, a nice little, we want, we're looking for a compliment. Yes. compliment a we're not dish. we're not surviving off fish here this no. time uh next trip i've talked to heather about that and she doesn't seem crazy about it <laughs> get a shot of bella hiding from the bugs there bella's hiding from the bugs over here bella or bella go. come here belly come here let me see your eyeballs bella's eyes are all Aww. swollen from bug bites. Poor Bella. But I don't want to spray bug spray around her eyes and then she licks it and she'll be okay. So it is kind of heartbreaking though. Really beautiful lake. I'm, I'm glad we went all the way in. Well, the portage is done. And we are back in Lake Tomogamy. Shiningwood Bay. Um, it was nice. It uh, feels like the wind might have died down because that was my main concern on Tomogamy was wind uh, with our squirrely dog and uh, you know, just being in a canoe. If you can get windbound in a big lake like that or it can just make it really miserable to paddle. So it seems like it's died down paddling to our campsite basically now. We might stop and take a break, but it's kind of nice. We were worried because the winds were picking up earlier when we were on one of the smaller lakes and we were worried it was going to be tough paddling on the bigger lake when we got to it but uh, the system kind of, the wind passed through, it got cloudy and looks a little rainy but I don't know, it doesn't really feel like it's going to rain and there's just a nice warm air, gentle breeze that just smells amazing like summer you know that nice warm summer smell and uh it's quite warm out and it's just a leisurely paddle we're paddling uh we're getting further up into closer to the takeout than i originally thought we were going to so leaving tomorrow should be pretty easy looks like a well used site So um, with uh, the risk of rain and drops coming and a ripping wind and needing to cook pasta, etc., I rigged up this tarp setup. It's just pegged down at the back. It's really strong ground so the pegs are able to hold um, because this is creating quite the sail and there's a very strong wind. And then just cut a couple saplings for the corners and uh, tied the trees and then down to the ground, down and peg, and that's just a soft flapping in the front. And uh, it's working pretty wood. good, it's blocking the wind too, so, all right. Yeah. 
It's okay. It's okay. Good morning. Morning. Um, so this morning I woke up with an absolute horrible migraine. Heather, um, cleaned up the entire camp and took everything down in the tent and packed all the bags and loaded the boat so I could just lie there and sulk. So that yeah. was a huge help. It's been a great trip so far though. Couldn't ask for better weather. We had some good fish. Could have had some more, but we had some fish, which was nice. Great campsites, just overall pretty awesome trip. I like deep water swimming in lakes. <laughs> I'll still do it, but I prefer to like just go out in the boat and swim off the boat. Bring a tube. <laughs> 